You know, I had heard before that prayer is the nerve that moves the hand of God. And of course, Christians, we have the authority, but in order to have authority, we really need to act. We need to speak up. We need to pray. When I looked through specifically in the Gospel of Luke and Acts, it was amazing what I found that any major event in Christ's ministry or in the early church was linked in some way to people praying. It started back with the uh, infancy of Christ, back when, uh, I, I've got a few here that I listed out. Beginning with the birth of Christ, people were praying outside when Zechariah received Gabriel's uh, announcement concerning the birth of John. The prophetess Anna received the revelation of the Christ child after continual fasting and prayer. Luke tells us that while Jesus was praying, that's when the Holy Spirit came and descended upon him like a dove. And before he selected the 12 apostles, he spent time in prayer. We know that with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, it says that the people were constantly devoted to prayer. So obviously from that we see, and from the revivals, we see that prayer always precedes some major spiritual breakthrough. 